His actions as vice president are a blatant crime and an impeachable offense. The tragedy is Washington has known about these crimes for years and done nothing, says motion to vacillate, I'm sorry, motion to vacate author Marjorie Taylor Greene. It's not so much that Marjorie Taylor Greene is vacillating, but that she's flexing her power over Mike Johnson after threatening to trigger that motion to vacate that she would lose anyway. She's been very open about her demands. Asking for no more special counsels. Look, you guys, we saw Robert Mueller and the Russia collusion witch hunt. These are political. We're watching what Jack Smith has done. The FBI tampered with evidence and made this look completely fake with the documents. And now Jack Smith has lied in court. This is political. And the Department of Justice should never serve as the campaign arm of Joe Biden's administration and his campaign. This is wrong. President Trump is our presidential candidate. He is being abused and the American people are fed up with it. It is absolutely the right thing to do to end the special counsel. These requests are not complicated and also demanding. All these cases that show how incredibly criminal our presidential candidate has always been has to stop. She literally used the word demanding to deliver her list of requirements for Johnson to follow. She adopts Trump's lie that the DOJ is working at the behest of Joe Biden's campaign when her GOP colleagues have already admitted to legislating for the sake of Trump's campaign. Everything that we do in the House of Representatives should be in the best interest of getting Donald Trump reelected. This guy right here, motions to vacate, justified or unjustified. Everything we do in the House should be done in the best interest of getting Trump reelected. Everything. So everyone's happy. Donald Trump has the Republican members working solely for his campaign, and Marjorie Taylor Greene is the shadow speaker of the House getting her way by threatening to destroy the body and getting all the attention that she apparently never got as a kid. Steve Bannon, Marjorie Taylor Greene, and Tucker Carlson, they've all been talking about how easy it is to push Mike Johnson around to get their way. They just framed it as Democrats doing it. But from the way he went from pounding his chest and saying he doesn't think much of Representative Greene because of how ineffective she is as a legislator to standing in front of a podium to announce that she's his boss, apparently they were right. He's easy to control. Will you do what Marjorie Taylor Greene is asking, which is to defund special counsel's investigation and in criminal cases? Well, look, there's been a lot of discussion here amongst House Republicans in particular for a long, long time about the abuse of the special counsels. I mean, this is a, a tradition that goes back about a quarter century. Uh, Janet Reno, I, I believe, is the one that originated this idea. And um, the problem that we have, see, Congress has an oversight responsibility, and we've got to make sure that the justice system is maintained well, and, and that's our, our job. We also have the power of the purse. And the problem with this that, that many of us see with the special counsel, um, a statute is that it goes outside of the regular appropriations process. It's, it's, sort, of a, it's sort of individually or self-funded. And so there's discussion this week, as there has been for a long, long time, about what is the most effective way for Congress to take the reins of that and ensure that the special counsels are not abusing the law themselves. And um, there's a lot of ideas about that. Um, discussions this week are nothing new, but we're looking very intently at it because I think the problem has reached a crescendo, I think, for all the reasons I just outlined here. I think there are serious questions on the part of the American people, and they want to know, they're asking us, uh, what we can do to ensure that the law is followed. And we're looking at every possible angle on that. And stay tuned, we'll, we'll find out. That was the long-winded Mike Johnson way of saying, yes, yes, I'll do everything that I can to follow the orders of Marjorie Taylor Greene. I'll say the American people are asking me to do it, even though I know no one's buying that line. So stay tuned. She told me to stay by the phone in case she comes up with another demand, like grabbing a pizza or something for her. He might actually think that he satisfied her demands but Marge is not shy about telling everyone that she's keeping her foot on his neck. This is what MAGA control over the House of Representatives looks like. We've had discussions in the Speaker's office, and right now the ball is in Mike Johnson's court. He understands that he's going to be our Republican Speaker of the House. The things that we've discussed about that got leaked out to the press are very simple, and they, they serve the American people. 
They serve the people that gave us the majority, and we're interested to see his actions, not his words. But what is the time frame here? That's up, that's up to Mike Johnson, and it, it can't drag out. These are things that have to be done. He's already delivered Joe Biden's agenda. He's delivered everything that Chuck Schumer's asked. If he's capable of doing that with a majority of Republicans uh, controlling the House, I think he's extremely capable about doing the things.